We're here at IMTS 2022 on the Heinberg stand, and we're talking about something that is, to me, I've never seen anything like this before. It's called the Centratec system. Correct. Now, can you just first of all explain what the this component is here and what, what this component is and what they do, please? The Centratec system is really designed to assist clients with changing over their work holding as quickly as possible. So much the same way that technology has been existing for, for a long time that allows you to change work uh, tooling quickly, such as Sandex Capto system or Kenna Metals KMT, this is the same function, the same principle for work holding that allows you to have a, a interface that's mounted to your spindle and a corresponding interface that's mounted to the back of all the work holding that you anticipate to use in this machine or in a cell of machines that can be shared as long as the interface is the same. And this is work holding so you can go from holding on the OD of parts to going holding on the ID of parts, which are normally they would take a long time to change over between those two very different kinds of work holding. Um, how many times should people be changed? How, how, how much of a problem of changeover should people have when they be looking at a simple system like this? Most of the clients that I talk to experience changeover times of 30 minutes to 45 minutes, so it's a very large component of their costs that can't be invoiced to their customers. Now, that being said, if a customer is changing over once a month, twice a month, this may not be the right system for them. Nonetheless, there are so many customers out there that are looking at a system to assist them with changing over once, twice a day, two, three times a week, those are the ones that would really benefit from this system. Absolutely, there are loads of manufacturers that make very low volume, very high mix Correct. work, day in, day out. There's probably quite a few here in Chicago. Low volume, high mix, this is an ideal component for them. Okay, brilliant, so it's all about quick changeover, but we're looking at this system here as well. I mean, is this something to do with manual handling? Yes, so this system over here allows you to manipulate the work holding uh, without having to use your back or without having to stand into the machine to direct it onto the spindle itself. So this would be mounted onto the interface for the Centratec system or all the work holding that you'll be using in that cell and then connect it some, some kind of a lifting device, a crane or a smaller lifting device like we have in the machine here. But in this case, there is the possibility of a rail that would allow you to move the device radially. Because you need to, act, you need to actuate, Correct. you need to rotate it to, to lock it To line up the bolts, line up the coupling internally. And as well, there's a system that allows you here to maintain the parallelism with the spindle face. So even if you have a large, heavy piece of work holding that would cause it to droop normally, this would then balance it to maintain the parallelism with the spindle face. And you can imagine you've got an operator, a bit like maybe an operator of my size, and I'm not, I'm, I'm tiny. not a big guy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not a big guy like you, dude. I can't <laughs> handle these, these heavy pieces of equipment. I'd be there with my back hurting, trying to screw stuff onto a drawbar. It makes a lot of sense to yeah. deal with manual handling, even, I guess, like for yourself, if you're doing this three, four times a day, yeah, absolutely. That's going to, even for a big guy like you who can handle a lot, a lot of weight, it can still damage your back, definitely. Let's move on to the accuracy of the, of, of the, of the, um, the system, which is really important. This back face, all the little mechanical interfaces here, how does it stay accurate and what kind of accuracy can you get out of it? So the accuracy is a very good question. So the manner that it works is using this blue band. This blue band is a vulcanized rubber strip that has ball bearings that are placed within it at very specific intervals that allow the system to be uh, uh, located correctly onto the spindle face without having to indicate it every time that you install it. From a perspective of uh, accuracy, uh, the accuracy is going to be a stack up with the work holding itself. However, the system itself, we're talking about five microns, just this interface with the corresponding taper on the spindle. Which if you've got a standard chuck, you'd be talking way more than five microns. Correct, and, and of course that's five microns in addition to whatever inaccuracies your chuck has, but the system by itself, it's about five microns. Brilliant, and also the fact that indicating for all the UK viewers here is, is like clocking something up, is dial test indicating, so that means Correct. you don't have to, once you change this work order, not only is it faster, you don't have to spend extra time as part of that setup time clocking all your, the, your whole part up, which might also take about five, 10 minutes. Absolutely. Indicating a work holding is such a big part of the installation that it's in addition to having to handle the work holding to install it onto the spindle face, that, that's one part of the installation. The second part of it is getting it accurately uh, set for your components. So when you remove that requirement from the installation, it just helps the 
the practicality of the system altogether. Absolutely, and from my opinion, that's what Heimbook is all about, is it's very hard to get a, a quick, it's very hard to put something on a machine quickly and also accurately, but that's what Heimbook do really well. It's, it's I'm, gonna stop, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop gushing about Heimbook. Let's, uh, have, let's, let's see a demo now, please, Dean. Sure. Let's see how it works. Good. Would you like me to? Yeah, I'm going to take your mic. Perfect. Okay, so how do you, how do you start? So we're looking at the, the, the back side here. Yeah, so of course, in this case, this is the smallest model that Heimbuch makes. So I'm able to manipulate the chuck by hand. Under normal circumstances, with larger chucks, we could use the uh, uh, Montake lifting device that we talked about previously. But effectively, what I would do at this point would be to give the spindle just a quick wipe to take off anything possible in terms of chip or contamination. But then I'm going to find the indicator surface that lines up here. So that's a pink line here that goes onto the open side. Correct, and then I'm going to do approximately a 10 degree rotation that will line it up with the closed position. And under normal circumstances, if this was a real machine, not a, a wooden one, <laughs> we would use the uh, hydraulic cylinder to just hold the center tax chuck in place. And then at that point I can let go and then I would use a tool to lock it in place against the spindle face. And here, you, all you've got is a single bolt uh, or a single um, hex head to, 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 to fasten up, That's which correct. is completely different to, to uh, on a manual lathe. You have loads of little cam locks. Correct. It takes a long time even just to stick, stick the end on the spindle bolt. That's correct. So at that point, it's fixed. It would be ready to go. So what we've done effectively with this single bolt, with the connection to the drawbar, with the connection to the spindle face, this chuck is effectively ready to use, except for our collet size. So being a Heinbuch chuck, we're able to change out the collet. This is, this is the bread and butter of Heinbuch right here. Put that in and we're ready to go at that point. Now, if we wanted to change to a different work holding device. Such we as we've got a man mandrel here. So it's, it's, we're talking internal, external. Correct. This is how simple it's, it would be for, yeah. for really for complex change. Demonstration, it's just a matter of removing what's on there now. And you say there's a safety bolt, a little safety uh, nub in that kind of that, that shoots correct. up. There's this safety point right here. And I think what I did, oh, there we go. So we're the safety, when it's protruding, it's telling us that it's not in a safe condition, that it's not fastened properly. So at this point, I'm able to remove the work holding. And if this was a, a different device, perhaps a three jaw chuck, diaphragm chuck, four jaw, even a competitor's device, not necessarily one from Heimbuch, I could, again, install it the same way that we did, line it up, give it 10 degrees of rotation, and then use that same point to fix it against the spindle face. I see every single part of the design in all the Heimbuch products, and especially the Centratex, it's all about operator safety, operator ease of use, and it makes their lives so much easier. So if changeover times are the bane of your life, maybe you're changing over three or four times a week, it's taking half an hour, it's an absolute nightmare, check out the Centratex system from Heimbuch, and how can they get in touch? They can contact us at heinbook.com.